that tissue primarily. The first thing you're going to want to do is release the musculature and kind of clean up the area and do some myofascial release. So with that, you'll take a little bit of emollient and just place it on the place you want to start. Then I'm going to use this gua sha technique, and then I'm just going to work that elbow, work that lateral epicondyle and that common extensor tendon all the way down into the wrist. And you can see how it's getting nice and red. So what you'll do is you'll do this for a few minutes, about one to five minutes or so, or until you start seeing little red dots coming up, and that's called petechia, and those are just little micro, uh, micro blood vessels that are popping. So that is normal. You may get a little bit of bruising, and that's totally common as well. After you get that myofascial release of the common extensor tendon, we're then gonna to wanna to perform some exercises to help increase the strength and improve the function of the muscle. Now, you can start doing some stretches at this point, but it may irritate the condition. So if it does, hold off on the stretches for now, and we'll stick with isometrics. So 